it's taste pink welcome back to the channel and today's video is super different it's me being vulnerable something i haven't done for years i think i did my leaving my boyfriend after five years video and that was what was like three or four years ago that i did that video um and to just kind of reestablish that vulnerability and be okay in doing so and kind of like opening up to you guys i'm definitely guilty of just really throwing you guys hair related content and kind of steering clear of topics that are very near and dear to my heart and you guys can tell by the title of this video i'm going to be starting therapy and this has been something that i've been putting off and it doesn't make any sense to continue to put off something that can have the ability to you know, propel me forward and to become an even better version of myself. I think we walk around thinking that we have all of the tools that we need to manage our emotions and manage our thought process. And sometimes we're so blind to our own situation and our own reality that we don't realize we need tools. We need more resources to help ourselves be better. Um, and I want to be clear in that I fully believe that mental health is a is of the utmost importance it is the priority and i happen to love someone who has mental illness they suffer from paranoid schizophrenia um it is my brother i don't like talking about it too much because um you can't really tell me about like an experience that i have so it's and it's also very emotional for me so i don't like to discuss it too much with people who aren't qualified i'm just gonna keep it 1000 um because then what can you really tell me it's unless you share a similar experience so i'm very guarded about that but in loving my brother it's definitely taught me about the ways to love a person who is suffering from a mental illness the different ways and sometimes the ways in which i'm accustomed to loving a person I have to adjust them to love someone whose perception is skewed whose reality is very different from my own and I want to start therapy to find a, a, a better level of peace and clarity I want the tools and the resources to better manage my emotions I also want to learn boundaries I'm 27 and I struggle with saying no I'm 27 and I still have issues with wanting to create distance between myself and other people because I don't want to have to deal with the feelings of feeling like they abandoned me or the fact that they may walk out of my life I'm someone who doesn't always like to begin different friendships relationships I have a great reluctance because it should just be going left and I don't always understand it i'm always open to understanding the perspective and the lesson in it all but i need tools i don't have all of them i've gotten a lot better with my anger and i'm so happy that i've made a lot of strides and a lot of improvements in that area because that cost me a lot of friendships it cost me relationships with really good people and that's something that also frustrates me so it's like i'm in a healthy space and you know being able to cultivate healthy friendships relationships whether it's familiar more personal just intimate relationships i can be a better version of myself to the people that i love and that i want around me who pour into me and it's also about really working towards you know pursuing relationships friendships and environments and opportunities that lend to my growth my personal development you know we always think about opportunities that can propel us forward and you know finance advance us financially but what about if you regress on a more emotional mental spiritual level how does that how does that help you because then you don't feel full you don't feel whole and it doesn't really draw into the purpose of you wanting to be a better version of yourself i have a lot of unresolved issues as it relates to some of my family members i'm actually not talking to a family member now because i found the courage to say no but then that cost me being able to talk to them every day or see them because i didn't do what they wanted me to do and so like dealing with that the fact that you can't say no or you feel like you can't say no and if you do say no there are repercussions to those actions so having someone who is qualified to tell me like so why do you feel feel bad and you know saying no 
what what is it about your childhood what are some things that you know you went through as a child that may have you know lend to your abandonment issues or you struggling with you know the fear of people walking out of your life i need to dig deep and i'm going to journal i've been journaling so much and it's been such a journey and to look at my journal entries from when i first started to looking at my journal entries at the present day your girl was angry several months ago i was angry about a lot of the things that were happening to me i was trying to figure out why me what are you trying to teach me god and then to now oh girl the narrative is so pretty but it's pretty but i want it to be healthy and i want it to continue to be an experience where i'm pleasant i'm happy i'm in a positive space and i can continue to pour into other people not just you know myself i want to be positive i want to be a positive influence to those around me and i want those who i allow to be in my space to be able to pour into me so i need to work on that balance and that exchange and really exploring spaces where i feel safe enough to allow people to get to know me so this is a part of the process and i'm inviting you guys it's not going to be easy I am a little anxious and I want you guys to really talk about if you have an experience what are some things that you went through before starting therapy do you have reservations did you previously have reservations about therapy and now you're so happy you did it talk to me about the experience give me the good the bad the ugly don't think that it has to be some pretty little piece you know of cake because it's not it's not going to be a cakewalk all the time addressing your issues isn't a cakewalk and so i'm going to delve deeper into things and you know have like a debrief after a session and really tell you guys how i even began my research and the work that i had to do internally to even be okay with starting this process because you have to do work internally it's not easy so let me know the comment section needs to be lit I know a lot of queens, kings are going through things, but you're not alone. And please don't ever stop looking for support, looking for a sense of community where you can find your voice and find, you know, your reality within someone else. And like your, you know, not your happiness, but you can find your hope within someone else. You hear someone's testimony, someone's story, never stop looking. So I really hope you guys join me and I'm excited to start this next chapter and we're not waiting until december to set our goals we're starting now why later when we can start now so let me know your thoughts and i will see you on the other side